हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ओशन करंट नाउ व्हाट इज एन ओशन करंट ओशन करंट इज अ कंटीन्यूअस डायरेक्टेड मूवमेंट ऑफ सी वाटर दीज आर लार्ज स्ट्रीम्स ऑफ वाटर दैट मूव इन अ डायरेक्टेड मैनर इन ओशन वाटर राइट एंड दे फ्लो फॉर ग्रेट डिस्टेंस एंड टुगेदर दे क्रिएट द ग्लोबल कन्वेयर बिल्ड नाउ दिस ग्लोबल कन्वेयर बिल्ड इट प्लेज अ डोमिनेंट रोल इन डिटरमाइनिंग द क्लाइमेट ऑफ मेनी ऑफ द अर्थ रीजन नाउ यू कैन सी इट हियर दीज आर द डिफरेंट ओशन करंट the ocean currents of north atlantic ocean that is the north equatorial current gulf stream north atlantic drift norwegian current now the red ones are the warm ocean current and the blue ones are the cold ocean currents because uh, these warm ocean currents they move from the equator towards the poles right and the cold ocean currents like labrador current canary current these currents they move from the poles towards the equator similarly in the south atlantic ocean we have brazil current which is again a warm current then this one is a falkland current the cold one that is again uh, bengula current right so these are the currents of south atlantic ocean now in the pacific ocean in the south pacific ocean we have the cold current that is west wind drift then this peru current right then we have a warm current that is south equatorial current similarly in north uh, atlantic ocean we have north equatorial current we have here warm current that is kuroshio that moves from equator towards the poles then again we have cold current that is oya shio current from poles towards the equator okay and then these are the ocean currents in the indian ocean okay now this one is the conveyor belt that shows that there is warm ocean current that is the red one that moves from equator towards the poles and the blue one that is cold ocean current they move from poles towards the equator and this is how the this is uh, the global conveyor belt is formed okay now what's the fo- uh, what are the forces responsible for ocean currents one is wind coriolis force insulation and density now let's first discuss uh, insulation so insulation is incoming solar radiation right and because uh, at the equator the the sun rays they fall directly overhead at the equator right so water it is warmer at the equator it expands under high temperature right and cold water at poles it is heavier and it is uh, due to its density it sinks downwards right so water being lighter near the equator then at the poles it moves from the equator towards the poles right and cold water from pole it flows towards the equator at subsurface level now you can see it here these are the equatorial regions so water it flows on the surface right and these are the polar regions so water being denser it sinks right and this is the subsurface flow right you can see it here again this is the warm water this is warm surface flow right and the cold water that is cool sub surface flow okay now the next one is the yes the next one is the winds now in winds in on earth there are three uh, planetary uh, winds right these are the trade winds the red ones are the trade winds the blue ones are the westerlies and these purple ones are the polar easterlies now they influence the direction of ocean currents you can see it here just see the westerlies and see this west wind drift right it is influencing uh, the direction of ocean currents similarly see the gulf stream in this uh, in the westerly region they are being driven by these westerlies right similarly the trade winds they are driving these warm equatorial currents right towards the equator so winds they influence the direction of ocean currents okay the next one is coriolis force now this is a pseudo force it was discovered by um, a scholar known as g e coriolis right and this force is due to the earth rotation and as per this force objects they deflect to the right in the northern hemisphere right and uh, objects deflect to the left in the southern hemisphere now see it here the ocean currents they are deflected towards their right you can see this motion this is in the northern hemisphere and ocean currents they will deflect towards their left in the southern hemisphere right so this is how uh, the movement of ocean current is influenced by coriolis force okay now the next one is beside the the, the four uh, major forces there are other factors that is the coastlines they modify the path of currents you can see it here peru current see this gulf stream these coastlines or the configuration of coastline they are affecting the path of the currents okay now apart from this uh, another factor is the seasons for example specifically in case of indian ocean the currents in the winters and the summers they just gets reversed in their direction in the summers they are driven by the southwest monsoon winds you can see it here right it is in this manner okay but in the winters it's just a contrary it moves in this northeastern direction right so in case of indian ocean these winds uh, sorry these ocean currents they just get reversed 
okay now classification of ocean currents one is on the base of depth that is surface and on, and uh, deep ocean currents and the second one is on the base of temperature that is cold ocean currents and warm ocean currents right now cold and warm ocean currents we have already done so let's discuss on the base of depth the first one is surface circulation so this one is uh, from 0 meter to 400 meters right and deep circulation is from 400 meter to the depth okay so first one surface current these waters they make up about 10% of all of all the water in the ocean right and they, these waters are the upper 400 meters of the ocean you can see it here the upper 400 meters of the ocean okay now the the next one is the deep water current the rest of the 90% of the ocean uh, that is uh, like in the 90% of the ocean these deep water currents are there right and they move around the ocean basin by density driven forces now density is mainly affected by temperature and salinity for example if the water has uh, a low temperature that means it is cooler right and if the uh, the water is cooler that means the density is high similarly in case of salinity if the salinity is high then the water is denser and denser water has a tendency to sink that is why it leads to deep water currents okay so these deep water sink into the deep ocean basins at high latitudes where the temperature are cold enough to cause the density to increase right that is why these are deep water currents okay now what is the importance of ocean current now see first of all these ocean currents they distribute heat from poles to equator right now it is because of this uh, when this warm water it moves from the equator to poles and cold water it moves from poles to equator so the reason uh, the, the main significance of this heat distribution we can see it here london being at the same latitude as james bay in canada but the uh, the climate in london is much milder why because of this north atlantic drift now you can see it here this uh, ocean current this one north atlantic drift this is a warm current right and this warm current it leads to a moderating influence uh, in this uh, area in this region of london you can see this one is a london right so uh, this one is the uh, james bay in canada right so th these two regions being at the same latitude they have different climatic conditions why because of this ocean current right similarly in case of ports of norway they operate in winter they remain ice free in winter but uh, at the same latitude ports in russia they freeze during winter again the reason is this warm current you can see it here norwegian current so ports in norway they remain ice free at the same latitude ports in russia they will not remain ice free because they do not have such warm ocean current okay now the next one is these ocean currents they cause upwelling in many areas right and this upwelling it leads to nutrient rich water right and this nutrient rich water it supports growth of plankton and a high growth of plankton will will support growth of fishes right so these regions where there is upwelling of cold water uh, from below that will lead to uh, major fishing banks right and similarly you can see it here all the places where there is a uh, meeting of cold current with warm current see this labrador current and gulf stream they are meeting near grand banks so this is a major fishing ground again brazil current and falkland current right they, uh, these uh, they, are, they are meeting here so again at bahia blanca uh, you will find major fishing ground again this kuroshio current warm current and cold current oyashio they are meeting near japan so japan is again a major fishing uh, country right it exports fish okay Uh, again, the another uh, significance of ocean current is cold currents. They have a desiccating effect in the nearby region. Now you can see it here. Peru current is a cold current, so that is why there is this uh, desert known as Atacama Desert. California current is a cold current, so we have Mojave Desert and Sonoran Desert. Canary current is a cold current, so we have Sahara Desert here, right? Bengala current is a cold current, so we have Namib Desert here. West Australian current is a cold current, so we have all the uh, deserts. like uh, great uh, victorian desert sandy desert in australia in this western region okay and the last uh, effect of uh, or the significance of cold current is any alteration in the current patterns like el nino and la nina it affects human as well as it causes changes in the local weather patterns in the years when they occur okay thank you